Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man and today I'm going to review this high boost travel 4G 2.0 cell phone booster for vehicles. It amplifies 2G, 3G, and 4G LTE signals on all US and Canadian carriers. Ideal for a car, van, truck, or SUV. How well does it work? Stay tuned to find out. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. As a heads up, this video is sponsored by HiBoost. HiBoost offers dozens of cell phone boosters for all situations. I previously reviewed their 4K Smart Link on my YouTube channel, which is designed to improve cell phone reception within the home. I was truly surprised how well it worked. This cell phone booster operates a little bit differently in the way it's meant to be installed inside a vehicle. Here's a diagram that shows how it works. The magnetic antenna amplifies the signal from outside, sends it to the booster, and the patch antenna repeats the improved signal inside your car. While you are able to use the Signal Supervisor app to fine tune the antenna on your car, I don't think it's completely necessary since your car will be moving anyway. Just place the antenna on the highest part of your vehicle. If you decide to purchase this cell phone booster or any one of HiBoost's other cell phone boosters, be sure to follow my link in the pinned comment below or in the description of the video to get 20% off. Be sure to enter the coupon code ANTENNAMAN20 in the checkout. To test the vehicle booster out, I drove to a remote location where there was absolutely no service. I plugged in the booster and unfortunately it didn't bring in a signal. This is understandable as it can only amplify a weak signal, it can't help if there's no signal at all outside. While the booster was plugged in, I drove down the road until my phone received one bar. I was curious to see how much of an impact this booster had on the reception of the cell phone because I was getting one bar and I wasn't sure what it was like without the booster. Here's some of the footage. So I drove down the road a little bit and noticed I had service when the booster was plugged in. I unplugged the booster and sure enough the service went away so I'm just curious to see what happens if I plug in the booster again, let me just go grab the cable here, plug it in, and let's wait a few seconds and see if the service comes back. Because I did have service until I unplugged it a second ago, so curious to see how well this works. You can see the little status lights on there. Pay no attention to the messy car. It's about as much of a mess as my mind is when it comes to YouTube content creation. There it goes. You see that the service came back once I plugged in the booster. And uh, just to test this out again, oh, it actually went up to three bars. That's pretty good. I didn't have anything before, so I'm actually kind of shocked about this. Let me go disconnect it just to make sure it's not just some kind of weird coincidence. And I'm getting notifications now, which is kind of cool. I didn't have notifications before. So while the service isn't completely out now, it definitely went down, probably because the phone was able to register on a tower. Nope, and there it goes again. So the service is out as the booster is not plugged in. The whole time I was in this remote location, I wasn't getting any notifications because I didn't have any LTE data. I just got one notification on Zillow, probably an overpriced home that someone's gonna pay way too much for. Uh, so let me go plug this booster back in again. It's kind of fun. It's like a power switch on, off, on, off. So give it a few minutes to kind of load up and start moving, doing whatever the heck it does. Again, you can see towards the top, no service, disconnected out of service, and there it goes. And that's actually pretty impressive. I did not expect this booster to work this well. I thought it would make maybe a little difference, but I can actually do things on my phone now. I can load up data. Probably don't have the fastest speed because I'm on Cricket Wireless. Let me go uh, radiodiscussions.com, see if it will load up the web page. Yep, there it goes. This is a website where radio nerds like myself talk crap on all the media companies that ruined radio. <laughs> Like in Philadelphia. Change coming to WTDY, which is a generic top 40 station. 
See, it's cool. I can actually use the internet and make phone calls. Now, if I disconnect the booster, you can see how well I'm able to load web pages. So let me go to AVS Forum this time. This is the website where the nerds, like the antenna nerds like myself, talk about TV and uh, over the air. So right away, it doesn't seem like it wants to load, and it doesn't load because I don't have service anymore without this plugged in. So uh, definitely going to have more to say in this video. So this signal booster definitely works. It will improve your cell phone signal in a car if there's some kind of signal outside. However, it may not work too well if there is no signal in the first place. Remember, it'll only amplify a weak signal. It will not amplify a signal that does not exist. No doubt this will make road trips better by improving your cell phone signal for calls and data services. It's a must have if you're like me and use a smartphone to stream music. I always hate it when I'm streaming either a radio station or Spotify and the music stops because I'm driving into a spotty area. Don't settle for AM radio. Oh! Get the most out of your smartphone with the High Boost Travel 4G 2.0 Vehicle Signal Booster. Get 20% off any High Boost Signal Booster by entering coupon code ANTENNAMAN20 on the website in the checkout. Thanks again for watching this YouTube video. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antennaman or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antennamanpa. If you aren't on Facebook and would like to receive email updates on when I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of the video. And make sure to add info at antennamanpa.com to your address book or my emails may be sent to your spam folder. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.